Hi guys, welcome to another great episode of Rad Dad Toolbox. Super excited about what I'm going to share with you today. It's something that I've been wanting to show and share and, and uh, teach. And it's something your dad should have taught you, may not have. Uh, maybe you didn't have a dad, I don't know. Hopefully I can help you there. But I'm going to show you how to double your money and uh, how to do it in a proven 100% uh, guaranteed way to do it. And it's all about simply the uh, function of rate of return. In other words, what, your, what money your money earns. And I'm going to show you different ways you can do that and uh, try to pencil this out and make it look a little more simple to you. And if you'll learn this one thing when you're young, you can be a multimillionaire. It's the turtle that wins the race. Slow and consistent over time can make you a fortune. And I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm also going to show you uh, the opportunity cost. In other words, what it costs you for every month and year that you don't do it and uh, what it costs you on the other side. In other words, when you're retired, how much you would have lost because you uh, bought that new uh, uh, you know, gun or that new uh, car or that new big screen TV or whatever it is that you like. Uh, when you buy those things, there's a long-term effect and we're gonna talk about that. So, you know, when people think about money, uh, it's not that interesting to think about, you know, $1 going to $2. It's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. 10 going to 20, eh. 100 going to 200, you kind of get my interest a little bit. 1,000 going to 2,000, 10,000 going to 20,000. Okay, now we're cooking, right? 100,000 going to 200 grand. I hope you're getting the point here. 500 grand going to 1 million, or check this out. How about 10 million going to 20 million? Now you really, really have my attention. And I'm gonna show you how this works. It's a super powerful formula. And I'm gonna give you some vehicles and ideas and ways to get there over time. And it's never too late. It just isn't. Uh, let's face it, the banks are not paying anything. In fact, you lose money when you put your money in savings at the bank. And I'm gonna show you how and uh, why that happens and uh, some options to uh, really improve your rate of return and to become a multi-millionaire. And it doesn't matter if you uh, work for the post office, uh, you, you have an eBay business at home, you're a real estate agent, you're a car salesman, you're a lawyer, a doctor, everybody misses this key formula. And if they would learn it and use it and harness it, they'd all be rich, rich when they retire. So I'm really excited to teach you. And by the way, if you like what you see today, make sure you subscribe. <laughs> yeah, baby. And make sure you pound that like button uh, for the YouTube algorithm. And if you uh, subscribe, please consider that. Hit the notification bell. That way you'll hear when I have new videos coming out. I have lots of helpful videos everywhere. Everything from how to fix your iPhone in less than five minutes to how to change your oil to um, how to shave like a boss to how to double your money like today. So it's going to be really, really fun. I'm excited to share this with you today. So let's get to it. Okay, guys, welcome back. I'm excited to share this uh, powerful concept on how to double your money uh, every year for years and years and years and make a ton of money and if you do this right you can be a multi-millionaire and especially if you start young if you start at 20 25 30 you can be a multi-millionaire it's never too late to start you could start later in life but you lose so much opportunity it costs you so much money and so today what i'm going to show you is super super powerful so let's start with the basics okay First of all, we're going to talk about a rule today. The rule today is called the rule of 72. And if you learn this one rule, you will be worth a fortune. So let's get right down to it. All right. I told you I was going to talk to you about today about the rule of 72. This is what dad should have taught you. This is what the bank should have ta taught you or talk about, but they don't. And there's a reason they don't. So the rule of 72 tells us how long it takes to double our money. It's simply a function of the rate of return or the, another way to say it, the interest you earn on your money or the money that your money earns, that rate divided by 72. Now let's use the very worst example, the bank. Okay, I hope you can see that. It's kind of scribbled on the other side, but I wanna make the point. Banks average savings rate right now across the country is 0.06%. In other words, that's less than 1%. It's about half, a little over half of 1%. Now, if we take with this new rule of 72 we learned, if we take 0.06 
and we divide it into 72. Check this out. I know you're going to get really excited. Okay, so let's do some math here. If you take 0.06%, which is the average savings rate across the United States right now, and you divide it into 72, it's going to take you a little over 100 and 20 years. In other words, you'll long be gone when your 1,000, I hope you're sitting down, becomes, I know it's going to be a huge figure, sit down and wait for this, $2,000. Now, I'm being uh, facetious or funny or not with that, but can you believe that? It takes 120 years in the bank at $1,000 at 0.06% savings rate. It takes 120 years to become 2,000. That is insane that sucks that is not good i can't write here but i hope you get the point that sucks so i'm going to show you some ways to earn better rates of return and what it does to your dollars now just for the exercise uh, there are some online banks that are paying a little bit better now they pay 1.5 to 2%, and let's say they pay the higher, the 2%, so again, using rule of 72, we take the 2%, we divide that into 72, and it tells us how often our money doubles. So now it only takes, and I'm being sarcastic here, 36 years to double our money. So if you were 30 years old today, and you are getting a 2% rate of return at Ally Bank or one of the online banks, it would take 36 years, so you would be 66 years old when your $1,000 savings account became $2,000. Not very good. In fact, that sucks as well. Now, what if you could get 12% rate of return. 12%. We divide that into 72, and now your money doubles every six years. Before I show you some ways that you might be able to achieve 12%, and I'm not an investment advisor, I just know that people like Dave Ramsey and Kiplinger Personal Finance and others uh, can show you some ways, and I'm going to outline those ways, to earn 12%. But if you could earn 12%, and let's just say you started with $1,000. You worked hard at McDonald's, you were 16 years old, let's call them McD's here, and you earned $1,000 at age 16. Now the question is, if you could earn 12% rate of return, what would that $1,000 be worth when you're, let's just round it up, when you're basically 65 or 66, we'll add 50 years to that, and uh, see what happens and how many doubles you have. So let's go through it. All right, so we know with rule of 72 that 12% goes in 72, six years, so every six years your $1,000 is going to double. So let's just write it out here. Six on top of uh, 16, is 22 years old. Now your thousand has become 2000. Another six years, you're 28 years old. Your 2000 has become 4000. I might need another sheet of paper here. Now another six years, you're 34. Your 4000 has become 8000. Now you are 40. Remember, every six years, you'll see six years every in between these numbers. At 40, you'd be worth 16,000. And remember, we just started with 1,000. We have not added any more dollars. I'm gonna show you the power of compounding money over time. Let's keep going. At 46, it's now worth $32,000. That's pretty interesting, isn't it? 1,000 to 32, pretty cool. Okay, I had to flip the page over. So now we go from 46 to, to uh, 52 and it was worth 32, so now it's worth $64,000. That's pretty nice. Now another six years, go to 58, and it's now worth $128,000. And 
Remember, this is just a single $1,000 investment saying you've never invested ever again. At 64, we're actually gonna let you retire one year newer or younger, I should say, not newer, younger. Check that out. $1,000 becomes $256,000. Now, what if you were able to save up $10,000? Well, then this figure to begin, beginning, right? Begin at 10,000. This figure becomes $2,560,000 from $1,000 to 10,000 dollar investment. What if at some point in your life you could accumulate one hundred thousand dollars in in an investment account and let it compound over time? Now you've really, really got my attention. It's twenty five million uh, five hundred and sixty thousand dollars. That is a big figure. That is what we are like like to refer to as good, even excellent. I can't write here. I need to go back to kindergarten. Okay guys, so I've shown you a couple scenarios. We started with $1,000 and what that does over time at 12%. Then we showed you a scenario of $10,000 and another final scenario of $100,000. If you could in your working lifetime save $100,000 or do it fairly early in life, that that could become a figure as big as 25 million if you could earn a 12% rate of return. And again, Dave Ramsey says you can over time. Kiplinger says you can over time. And I'm gonna show you how here in just a minute. What I wanna show you now is I'm gonna show you just interval investing. And this is taking a small amount of money, maybe it's 100, maybe it's 500, maybe it's $1,000 a month if you're really doing well and what that does over time. And I'm gonna use my financial calculator to show you the power of what happens there. And by the way, one of the great uh, financial calculators that I've used over the years is called um, Power One. Sorry, I had to think about it. It's called Power One, great financial calculator. You can get it in the App Store. I highly recommend it, and no, I'm not sponsored by them. I just wanna recommend a good financial calculator. And I'll show you how to use this uh, at some point in this video, just briefly, because I'd like to make another video on that. But let's talk about investing 100 and maybe even investing 500 and then 1,000, what that does over time. Let's check this out. Okay, guys, so we are using my Power One financial calculator. Now, this is on an iPad, but it's also on my phone. And uh, this is one of the best programs out there, uh, I believe, or one of the best financial calculators. So. What we've said now, this scenario is, we're gonna start with $50 right here, right? That's gonna be our $50 a month savings. Anybody can do that. You can do that from the time you're 16. To, to show the power of this, we're gonna take this for from the time you're 16 to the time that you're 66. We're gonna show a 12% rate of return. Nothing's guaranteed. You gotta do your research, and I'm gonna show you uh, ways that you can accomplish 12%. We're gonna have 600, what they call periods, so 600 months, so 50 uh, for 600 months, that's, that's 50 years, 12 periods a year. We'll check this out. $50 becomes $1,972,496.56. That's just a little better than the bank, and I'm kidding, that is way better, that is super cool, way better than the bank. Now, let me go ahead and light this back up again. Let's say you get to a point where you can spend $200 a month. So we put in $200 here. At $200 a month, let me use my special pointer here, at $200 a month, at, at uh, let's see, let's do $200 a month payments. Okay, oops, let's go back there. $200 a month payments and we do that for 50 years, so from the time we're 16 to the time we're 66. Check it out, guys. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to go up on that a little bit. That's $7,889,984.62. That is unbelievable, okay? Now, 
let's see what happens if we wait, let's say five years, okay? So that means we'd be taking 60 months out of our number of periods here. So 60 months out of that would now be 540. Well, if it's saved there, okay? Let's see what it does to the figure. It goes from 7.8 million to 4.3 million. That is a difference of three and a half million dollars. Why? Because you waited from the time you were 16 till you were 21 to start saving $200 a month. Okay, let's just play with this a little bit further. Let's say you wait till you're 30 and now you have uh, 36 years, so 36 times 12. Okay, we're gonna wait till you're 30. So 36 times 12 equals 432. So we go back to time value of money, and now we put 432. 432 months of payments. So remember guys, we started at 7.8 million. We went to 4.3 million because we said, oh, we can't afford to save $200 a month when we're 16. So we didn't start till we were 21. And then we waited till we were 30 to accomplish the same thing. At 30, from the age 30 to the age 66, saving $200 a month at 12%, if you can get it, and we're gonna talk about ways you can, at 432 months of putting in $200 a month, it still grows to a great figure, don't get me wrong. 1.466 million is fantastic. But there's a thing called opportunity cost. Now, opportunity cost simply means what it costs you in net dollars to your wallet for every year you wait or a great opportunity that you put off. This is that great opportunity, an opportunity to double your money, then double it again, then double it again, and so on and so forth. And if you wait five years, you could lose uh, in the case that we showed you early, you could lose three and a half million dollars if you waited five years from 16 to 21 to start saving $200 a month religiously for retirement. You could lose three and a half million dollars. If you wait till you're 30 with this same scenario, you could lose about six million dollars. Dollars And like we said, 1.466 million is not a bad number. Don't get me wrong, that still does a really good job of helping you have a okay retirement. Not great, but okay. So the time value of money and the rule of 72 are kind of one and the same. It tells us how often money doubles. And that's the powerful thing. That's what's so powerful about it. Let's go back to a few more scenarios to show you what you can do if you get started a little bit later in life. Right. Let's say you get started later in life, but let's say you make $5,000 a month, of which you should save at least 10%. So that would be $500 a month. So let's punch in $500 here that we're able to save a month. And let's start with 500, okay? And let's say you start when you're 35. So we're gonna go, let's just say basically for 36 years. Let's go to our calculator here, cause I can't, obviously I can do that, but you know, I don't wanna show off or anything. No, I'm just kidding. 36 times 12, I actually could do that. So that's 432, which we had. So let's go back. We have 432 periods. We're now putting in $500 a month. I wanna use my special pointer, $500 a month. We started with 500, we're getting 12%. Again, I'm gonna show you, there's some ways to do that. Uh, nothing's guaranteed, but you can do some research and do that consistently over time if you do the right research. 432 periods, okay, now let's see what happens. Not a bad deal, not a bad deal at all. The number comes out, you start late in life, you start at 35 uh, years old, um, remember the $50 a month became a huge figure over time. Now we're investing 500 a month, 10 times more, but about maybe 10% of our income. Maybe you have a higher income, maybe you have a little bit lower, but that's a good number. You're saving 10% of your income. You're starting with 500, you're getting 12%. If you can, I'll show you ways. And you're doing that to the time you're 66, you end up with 3.66 million. Now just for fun, I'm gonna show you what the power of this financial calculator is. Let's say you wait 
until you're 45. So you have 21 years, so that's 20 times 12 is 240, so 252 is your, is your periods that you have. And we can actually figure out how much we're gonna to have to save now. You talk about opportunity costs and loss. And let's say we want 3.66 million, okay? So now we wanna figure out what the payment is that we're gonna to have to come up with to come up with 3.66 million, waiting till we're 45. Check that out. That is a number that can blow your mind. $3,246.66, more than likely after tax, if you got into a Roth uh, 401k or something like that, and don't worry about these terms right now, but look at what you have to spend right now if you wait till you're 45. This is opportunity cost. Remember how powerful it was. Let's go back just to our original scenario. Um, let's go back to $50 a month. Let's go back to um, $50 a month payment. Um, let's go back to, what did we say? 50 years from 60, so 50, so it's 600 um, periods at 12% at $50 and check it out. It becomes $1.9 million just with 50, okay? To become 3.66 million, as I recall, something like that number. Um, and let's just say we had 500 laying around to start with. And let's say we waited till we were 45. So now we have 21. What did I just tell you? 240, 252 payments now. Oops, sorry, I did that before. 252. So it costs us $3,257 to come 3.6 million. When only $50 a month, not $3,257, $50 a month became $1.9 million over a lifetime from the time you were 16. So the time value of money is huge, guys. The rule of 72 is powerful. So guys, the rule of 72 is so powerful and the time value of money. Rule of 72 and time value of money kind of go hand in hand, but super, super powerful uh, rule to learn. If you learn it now, I don't care if you're 16, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, five years old, you can still harness the power of the rule of 72 and learn how often your money should be doubling. Now, we've been talking about a number today of 12%. I don't want to give anybody any illusions. 12%, you have to earn it. You have to work for it, and nothing is guaranteed. But how you do it, I'm going to show you a couple scenarios here. First, let's start again with Dave Ramsey. Dave Ramsey, I'll just flash the screen for a second. Dave Ramsey believes you can get 12% over time. And he believes you can do it, as do I, through Growth Stock Mutual Funds. Remember that name, Growth Stock Mutual Funds. Mutual funds, very simply, don't worry about getting in the weeds on this. Mutual funds are simply a pool of stocks of major companies that are doing pretty well. And you're taking an average of all their growth, all the growth that they do over a period of a year. Well, I'm going to show you some other examples. I'll flash those up on the screen right now. Uh, Kipling or Finance came out and said, here's the top 25 growth stock mutual funds. And I believe, I don't have them here as I'm looking at this, but they started about 13%. I think the top one, and we'll take a minute here to flash these up on the screen, goes all the way to like 16%. And these are from inception. And what that means from inception is they have averaged that 12, 13 plus percent over time. So the question is, can you get 12% over time? Yes, you can. You have to research. There's a service called Morningstar. You can use Kipling, there's Finance, there's Forbes. There's all kinds of tools out there to go out and find a good growth stock mutual fund. Some of the major names that have those great growth stock mutual funds are Fidelity and Vanguard and uh, uh, other funds like that that can, that can go out and get you those kinds of returns with a professional money manager picking the 20 or 30 individual stocks, just to give you an example, that might be in that mutual fund. And that's how you compound your money. That's how the tortoise and the hare in, in the great race of life, the tortoise wins because he's consistent. He saves first. He pays himself first. If you're a religious person, you pay your God first, you pay yourself second, and then you pay your bills. 
And the best way to do that is simply taking the money right off the top. You'll never miss that $200 or $50 or $500 if you're making a good income. You'll never miss it. And it will compound. And while you sleep, that money will go get other money. And that other money will go get other money. And over time, just a little teeny investment becomes millions of dollars. So I hope you found this uh, very helpful today. I'm going to do a really quick review here just to talk about uh, the power of the rule of 72. I'm going to go back through the scenarios here with my terrible handwriting. But let's go look at those real quick. Okay, quick review. We talked about your rate of return. We talked about what if you could get 12%. 12% divided into 72 means our money doubles every year, or excuse me, every six years. And we showed what happens if you just worked at McDonald's and you were able to save up $1,000 and just invest once how many doubles you got from the time you were 16 to the time you were, I think, 64 is how we showed this. 1,000 becomes 2, 2 becomes 4, 4 becomes 8, 16 becomes 32. Let's flip that page over. 32 becomes 64. Uh, 64 becomes 128 and 64 becomes $256,000. Now, what if we could begin with another zero, $10,000? Well, now that same doubling from the time we were 16, never invested anymore in gross stock mutual funds. Now we have $2,560,000. But if we could save up $100,000 at some point in our lifetime and let it compound, we might earn as much as twenty. dollars five million dollars which is good even excellent okay and let's start at the very beginning of a review here the rule of 72 simply is our rate of return or the percentage that we're earning on our money what our money is earning divided by 72 tells us how long it takes to double we talked about how banks pay a horrendously terrible savings rate fact you lose money banks savings rate average right now is so when we take that terrible 0.06 percent and we divide it into 72 our money doubles every 120 years that sucks you don't want to leave your money in the bank and here's the reason you don't want to leave it in the bank the rate of inflation up through 28 from 1990 to 2018 Average 2.46%. Remember, today you're only getting 0.6% in the bank. So you're actually losing about 75% of the money uh, versus the rate of inflation. In other words, four times this equals approximately that, right? So if you've got money in the bank at 0.6%, you're losing roughly 75% of your money. That's a loss. So that's terrible. We talked about how online banks are trying to give you more aggressive savings rates of one and a half to two percent. It's kind of hard for me to say aggressive because it's terrible still. Even if you were to get the higher end two percent, we divide that in 72, it tells us our money doubles every 36 years. So from if you started when you were 30, from the, to the time you were 66 and you only had $1,000 to save, you'd have $2,000 in 36 years if you left it at one of the online banks. That sucks. So guys, I hope you found this video really helpful. This is something I learned young in life. And like I say, I've taught all my kids this. I've taught, uh, I've even taught classes at the university about savings and retirement. And this is one of the key, key uh, foundational points to really having a secure retirement. And that is, remember the, the tortoise or the turtle and the hare or rabbit? Rabbits are way faster. They're get rich quick. They're, you know, Amazon businesses and hype and all kinds of things. And I'm not saying Amazon businesses are bad. They're really good. I'm just saying that there's a lot of hype out there about how you can make money and do it in a really short period of time. The best thing for you to do is to learn how to pay yourself. Pay, pay your God first. If you're a religious person, pay yourself, then pay your bills. You will never miss those two first two ever. So pay yourself, then pay your bills, and you'll find that over time you'll be worth 
a lot of money, you'll have a lot of security, and you'll never miss those dollars, and especially if they're automatically debited into, for example, a Fidelity account that's going in this in a great growth stock mutual fund, you're gonna see, your money's gonna double over time. Now, it's kind of a slow process, you gotta wait that first six years, and 1,000 becoming two, or 10,000 becoming 20, but what about when 200 becomes 400, or 2 million becomes 4 million, or Gosh, if you really do well, 10 million becomes $20 million. You can retire nicely on that, I promise. So I hope you found this useful. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already uh, and hit that like button because that really helps me on the algorithm. And comment below because I'll try to answer all the comments I get. And if you have questions or comments or suggestions, I'm all ears, I'd love to hear them. But I hope you found this helpful. And if you're young, harness the power of that youth and save a little bit uh, or, or a lot of bit and do it over time and you'll be worth millions of dollars regardless of the profession you choose. So again, thanks for joining me and until next time.